Coming up, a new approach. Here we got three guys, three guys. Sending in a scout to make sure the coast is clear. I'm going to go call a couple friends since you have a couple friends. Our house in Long Beach, California may look ordinary from the outside. Let's go hot. Uh, Ellie. But inside, it's crammed with electronic gear, our production team, and cameras. Lots of cameras. Copy. So we're able to keep an eye on all angles. And it's a good thing. We were expecting this man, Maruf Farouk, to show up after having a sexually explicit chat with a decoy who said she was a 12-year-old female. Is that one or two of them? So we were surprised when he gathered outside our house with two other individuals. Three guys, three guys. Farouk and another man stay outside and send in this young man. Want to pour me some drinks? No, oh, I'm, I'm cool. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, well, I was thinking, I'm going to go call a couple friends since you have a couple friends. And I could just get a couple people in here. What do you think? Hey, how you doing? Why don't you have a seat right over there on that uh, stool right there? Are those your friends outside? We quickly realize that the young man, who we learn is just 15, doesn't seem to know what's going on. Did you bring condoms tonight? No. I'm not coming for the sex. I'm just coming for the meat, like Frank. I have a girlfriend already. He tells us that it was that man outside, Farouk, whose idea it was to come here. Using the screen name Spacky786, Farouk describes in terms too graphic to use on television how he's going to have anal and oral sex with the girl and how large his penis is. I know you're 12, but girls these days are way ahead, he writes. Would you let me lick you everywhere? Back inside, this 15-year-old is still saying his friend set this all up. My friend told me she said she's 17. While I'm having the conversation inside, the two men outside apparently get suspicious. They're running. They're taking off. They leave their friend inside and try to get to their car. Put your hands up. Go down your knees. But the police take them into custody. You know, why don't you do me a favor? Your friend's outside? Yeah. Why don't you go get him and tell him I'd like to talk to them? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, lobby police, put your hands up. Take your hands out of your car. Go down your knees. It's only after he's arrested, too, that the police begin to sort out what happened. The 15-year-old is released and isn't charged with a crime. What are the charges of why are we here for? And the other man who accompanied Farouk also tells the police he didn't know what was going on. Later, police also release him and don't charge him with a crime. But Farouk himself, the man who had those graphic chats with someone who said she was 12, is charged with one count of an attempted lewd act upon a child. He was the one that masterminded this plan. The other two individuals didn't really know everything that was going on. They knew they were going to meet a girl. Um, from what we were able to determine, they did not know the age of that girl. Later, Maru Farouk pleaded not guilty.